Welcome to Trans Theories, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason. Today we're going to be talking about the new Bumblebee movie toy that came out for the Bumblebee movie. And before we start, I want to give a shout out to Matilda Garcia because she commented on the last video, but her shout out did not go in that video for some weird reason. So I want to give her a shout out in this one, so I hope it will make it up to you. But back onto the topic of the Bumblebee movie. Bumblebee's toy has been released, and it's his power changer toy. But looking at it firsthand in box, it looks pretty cool. The first thing that I really want to point out is that big chest piece in the middle. And I think that's a gimmick for this and it's like gonna be like some maybe like power up bumblebee version like maybe if you turn it or something like it says on that caption over there then it'll make a sound and under that caption it says charge up bumblebee 25 plus sounds and phrases so i'm almost positive that this bumblebee is going to be one of those old leader class figures because of the sounds and gimmicks that we did not get in the age of extinction leader classes and the last night ones and i'm very happy that they're actually going to bring back the voice sound gimmick and i know a lot of people don't really like that specifically but for me i just think it makes the toy better but looking at it right now that big blue chest eh, i don't know about it maybe you can hide it or something and then it'll like show his car parts like it did in like a cgi model and in the film but looking at it right now, I'm not too sure if I like that too terribly much. But besides that, we can see Bumblebee's vehicle mode, which we'll get to later. And we can see a CGI model of Bumblebee trying to do a karate chop. Now in the next picture, we can see Bumblebee's vehicle form. And I really like this because it looks really simple and really clean. You don't really see too much panel lines. And if you looked at this at face value, I honestly don't think if like a kid just saw this at face value, did not know anything about Transformers, they would pass this off as just a regular toy car. And that's what I really like about Transformers these days, that instead of being like all these supercars stuff with a lot of panel lines for the toys you can have like a fresh and clean toy and it looks like this and i think it's going to make a lot of g1 fans very happy the only nitpick i may have with this vehicle form is that kibble that's under him but honestly it's just a little nitpick and it's not too terribly much and it doesn't take away from the car mode now moving on to a second to last picture we can see his battle mask that he had in the cgi trailer which looked really cool and it gives me the question on how does this mask can transform from his regular face to this because we've seen a lot of bony masks in the past and they usually the mask just sticks on the top of the head but on the other picture you don't really even see that kibble of the mask which makes me believe that his whole mask may flip up and then turn around under his head so you can't see it. but besides the cool looking mask we can see his chest again now there's one thing i want to point out that i did not see anybody else point out and that's is we can see his lights what this could mean is maybe if you move him then he'll make sounds kind of like the leader class of the fall and megatron every time he moved his arm he would do some lights and sounds and with this bone be almost positive if you like click that button or spin the dial that's in his chest then his car lights will turn on Another thing I want to point out is, is his car door wings. Now, I honestly don't really like those, and here's why. Because in the trailer, we kind of saw him all folded up on his back, and that was kind of like the new look without the wings. And yes, it's not as accurate, but I can see why they have that, and possibly if we get a Studio Series figures, they could fix that. But honestly, it's more of a nitpick. Another nitpick I have is those tires that are on the back of his arms. And for some reason, they just look too flat for me. I don't know, maybe you can move him back like they did with the Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee, but this one, if they're like stuck on his back, kind of like the Transformers Prime Weaponizer Bumblebee, I, I just don't really like that look. But hey, it's still a kid's toy, so I have to give it some slack. Also, I do want to point out one very cool thing about this toy and I could be wrong about it Now if you look at the feet and we'll see this better in the next shot We can see some black thing and I'm almost positive that that's actually his tire And I have not seen any other Bumblebee do this besides the movie masterpiece and the studio series figure Bumblebee And I think this is very cool because the tire gets encased around all these car parts And speaking of these car parts we can kind of see like some of the bumper right there And I'm assuming that's from the back bumper and it's kind of like transforming the way how the last night Bumblebee actually did it and I think that's like really cool because this now the last thing in the shot that i want to point out is is his lower stomach and what i want to talk about that is look at all that molded detail right there it looks really cool and yes it is accurate to the film and i personally i like the original bumblebee look where it had all those kibble there instead of this because it's more like engine parts but hey if it's for movie accuracy this definitely gets the cake now moving on to the last image of bumblebee we can see him have a blade on his left arm now what could this blade represent maybe something to do with the plot or maybe it's just a gimmick that none of the other bumblebees had kind of like the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee when it had those golden blades. Another thing that I want to point out is the feet again and it just looks so accurate to that we saw in the CGI trailer and especially with the feet on the underside. I don't know if you can see it that well but it kind of has like those nicks into it so it kind of like gives it traction. Second to last thing with this Bumblebee I want to point out is, is the doors again and that's because I just realized that it kind of has a similar transformation to how the Dark of the Moon Mudflap had it where his side doors from his other car mode or when he was in his car mode how he has two doors 
one of those doors folds behind him and it makes like one door look. The last thing that I want to point out is with this bone beat is all that kibble. Now, we don't get a Z back shot yet of the figure, but looking out at that kibble, it doesn't look too terribly good in my opinion. Maybe when you see a back shot, maybe it's going to look movie accurate, but looking at all that kibble, it looks like a lot. Positive that we can see that roof of the car right under his crotch and we can see some of those side pieces. So, am I a big fan of all that kibble? No, but like I said, it's more aimed towards kids and I'm almost positive that this is the size of a leader class, so I can definitely understand. Well, that's all for this toy analysis. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to tell me what you guys think about this toy and would you buy it or not. As always, this has been Trans Theory saying, keep on theorizing.